Here we go. I'm in um, town 0 0.4, 0.1. I'm going to show up my new map generator, which you can see up there in the top um, right-hand corner. I've got three little three um, lakes in there. I've got land bridges going across the river. I've got islands in the lakes, um, as well as some more ore generation up on top. So there's some coal and some iron. There's mountains. There's in the lakes and that with the map generator, you can get um, resources being on those lakes, as well as um, other things like rainforests and that within islands on the lakes. Um, it's all randomly generated, so you don't always have three lakes. Sometimes you might have no lakes. Sometimes you might have three lakes all joined into one. Sometimes you might only have one or two lakes. And it's all totally random. Uh, same with these land bridges. Um, sometimes you'll have them, sometimes you won't. Okay, so that's the map generator. Now, for my user interface... I've got the usual buildings tab there with all the buildings available. Um, I've left, decided to leave the zones in there for the moment because some people still prefer having it down there as well, which means you're going to have to hit that button on the right there to get it to go over to the cancel orders. Because of my walls menu in here, I've also included the campfire down here now as well as the bridges and the ladders and the walls which now if you don't um, build walls on in houses you don't need to build walls to build a zone anymore for example there you go there's a zone built um, uh, you don't need walls on 0 0.4 0 0.1 anymore but you don't get bonuses if you do have walls uh, if you, because you don't have the walls if you have the walls on there, you'll get bonuses. Uh, and that's not the same as if you build down below, though. So, if you notice on this map generator too, the rainforest the blob that used to appear in the 0 0.39 and 0 0.40 um, versions, they um, used to just, just used to be a blob of rainforest that could be anywhere on the map. Now, I've, in my map generator, I've told it to generate it along the edge of the water bank so that, because um, that's where the rainforests are more than likely going to be, near water. It makes a lot more sense that way. I've reduced the amount of stone that's being produced up on the top, on the top level, so you've got more room to build, especially now with mountains in there, because you can't build on the side of mountains. So... Yeah, <laughs> um, in 0 0.4, 0 0.1, they fixed up the um, this menu up here, the production menu, auto production menu. In it, I've added some extra things as well, like with the containers, decorations, so you can see what all you've got in stock, um, and you can build them and store them to be placed later. With the food, you'll notice that there's a big change in here. I've even got things like apples, pears, cactus fruit, absolutely everything that there is to do with food. I've taken away the bones because you can't eat bones. The bones are somewhere else in the menu still. But these things like apples and pears and cactus fruit, you can't harvest them from here because if I see that there, they don't go running off to an apple or pear tree to harvest them. But that just so it's there so that you can pick up this have a look at the stock values to see when that when um, you do have any in stock and let's see how many you've got same with the wood let's see I'll try um, harvesting some here and let's also chop some wood just so that you can see the production menu coming up. See, I've got two apples now and two pears. And I've also got a resources section here, which will show you that I've got 11 bones somewhere on the map and 12 logs already. 
And once again, you're told to go and get logs and that, it won't do it because there's no automatic production for them. But here, it'll show you absolutely everything, including how many goblin heads and hobgoblins, slimes, burnite spider eyes, so you can see why you can't build certain things, or if you've got enough to build certain things, it's all there. The rest of it is still all the same. Oh, I've also combined the armour and weapons together for the different weapon types, like I had on my original one. So, original version. So, um, someone else has got one out now that'll do that too. So, <laughs> it's very interesting that um, people, what people are doing with towns now, they're starting to come out with new mods. In here, you can even build... Um, all the utilities now. There's a new one in here called the Bone Carver, which you need to make bone items, and the Cooking Fire, which you can said so you can cook without having to need iron if you can't find any iron. Now my map generator has increased the amount of surface level iron there is, um, only by increasing it the um, height value of its generation. So you won't always get iron, and if you do, it'll only be a little bit, okay? And there's some copper there too. But what I like about this is now there's a reason to build bridges now, because in some maps you'll have to build bridges to get over to resources, which could be sitting over here on these islands in the middle of the lake. Um, there's no more ha uh ha -huh, you can't get at me because you're on the other side of the lake because there can now be can be land bridges um, all randomly generated again every map will have a river at least um, what else can I tell you I think that's about it I think I've covered just about everything um, yeah on the, the APM menu is just to build stuff not to build in place. To build in place, you have to come over here. And in here, I've got, in the say for the carpentry, instead of a zone now, like it used to have the zones over here in the carpentry, it's now, those who aren't familiar with my um, interface, it's now in there under carpentry. So anything you can want to do with carpentry, to build up your carpentry and to build up other buildings is in here. I've added the doors in there as well because the um, because the most rooms and that you'll want to put doors on um, but no other furniture. The other areas like hospital and personal room have got doors as well as beds because they need the they're, they're the only place where you can put the bed so I've put them active in there in the hospitals once again there's the hospital floor and remember you do not need to have walls around anymore and you can expand the hospital into a regular shape so you can have two rooms like that uh, I think that's about all the features that there are new in it so anyway I hope you enjoyed this I hope you've answered some I've answered some questions and it's showing off this map generator I'll try and do a new map generation but I don't know because it's been failing when I uh, go into towns from its menu screen, the Exitory. So let's try again, shall we? I've dropped back out to the main menu, click on play, and if it drops out, it drops out. But um, I'll be trying. I'm trying to get a new map to generate for you. So here we go. No, nah, it's dropped out. <laughs>